uh, and this was part of my graduate dissertation. Uh, at the time, it took us about a half an hour per image on a 32-node supercomputer, uh, supercomputing cluster. Um, when I went to Northwestern, we got it down to a single computer. And then in the past five years, we've been able to get this down um, to working on an iPhone. Uh, crazy, you know, from, from, from a room full of computers to a single computer. And it looks better now than it did 10 years ago when we started. Okay, Insatiable Genius is about giving tools to people to make art in ways, to express themselves in ways they've just never been able to. Um, humans make tools, it's what we do. I can't run as fast as a cheetah, but I can build a motorcycle or a car and I can go that fast. I can't lift as much weight as an Olympic weightlifter, but I can go down the street and get a forklift. Insatiable Genius is about making tools that make you Picasso or Van Gogh. <laughs>basically become the research end of this thing. So when we start a new app or we're going to change features or whatever, I will start figuring out what it is that we need to take. I'm not a um, developer per se. Thankfully, I have Brendan to help um, push all these things that I do, which take a lot of time into something that can be done actually on the iPhone using the resources. My area and specifically is image processing, and that's basically what we're doing for the iPhone. So we're trying to take real research quality processing and put it in the hands of everybody. If you look at other apps, their apps are all about, okay, turn this one black and white, turn this sepia tone, but there's a lot of things that they're skipping out and they're taking shortcuts. And we actually, from a color scientist point of view or from an image processing or a designer point of view, are looking at what are the tools that designers want that maybe everybody else wants but don't know that they need. And so we give them the magic button that does the thing and does it correctly not just in the, you know, play with colors in red, green, and blue, and then all of a sudden you end up with magic. We're actually doing higher order color spaces um, and quality um, research image processing. Amy and I have been married for 20 years. We've been working together gosh, for 20 years. We started out work doing production work for newspapers. We went to graduate school. Um, we wrote the Gooch shading paper together 15 years ago. Uh, we wrote textbooks together. Um, our desks are next to one another. Amy and I, I mean, we've published dozens of papers. We've traveled together. Uh, Amy, at the end of the day, is a muse that makes this kind of thing possible, right? She's the person who, as we're bashing her head against the wall, now th this is going to work, you know? She's the one, at the end of the day, who doesn't give up and, and keeps the ball rolling. <laughs> My role of the Dream Team is I manage all of the social communities, the online communities like Twitter and Facebook and the customer support role as well. So any feedback you have or any issues you have, I take them and I forward them and work with them. When I contact certain people, um, for example, super tweeters or someone high in the tech world, and they talk about us after I've contacted them and then it just creates a big boom in the rest of the social medias and the way that other people talk about us. And uh, you can see how many more users we gain just from me reaching out to certain people in the community. I think it's incredible that we've attained so many users. 2.2 million is a huge number for a company that has uh, five people. Yeah, I think it's incredible that we could get that many followers for such a small company. we do is impossible. <laughs> we make it happen. So really what, what it is is with our with our main products like like Tomb Pain, it allows a user who can have no technical experience like with Photoshop or any image uh, processing application and and really create something magical that that you really couldn't do uh, with any other app on the App Store. It's that special sauce that makes us what we are and what we can do. I'd say Tomb Pain is definitely the cartooning app of the App Store. I used it before I even worked here. It was kind of neat, but, but yeah. We are geeks. Yeah, Insatiable Genius is we are geeks. And now um, we are geeks with pizza. No, we're not geeks with pizza. <laughs>
Damn. Um, we, uh, Insatiable Genius, we are geeks who love what we do.